Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back and today different sort of uh, video We're not covering content, you know or gameplay that we always sort of do uh, But as always if you guys are new, please hit the subscribe definitely helps me out notifications on If you guys like what you see and all that good stuff and uh, before anyone says anything, this is this is this an ad? It's it, it's not really an ad, but it's sort of. I mean, it sort of is uh, for for my, for myself, the channel, and for what uh, me and a bunch of guys do on the side. Uh, it's a site called Madden Turf, and we help people get better at Madden, um, selling guides, ebooks, tips, whatever, whatever you want to call it. That's sort of what we do. And the uh, the link to the website is going to be down below if you guys are interested in you know learning how to become a better player in Madden 19 we've been doing this for years uh, some of the guys started out even before uh, I did uh, Madden 15 16 17 18 so Madden 19 this is our fifth year doing this together and I, I think we're pretty good at it and I'm excited to see what we have coming on in Madden 19 we've got some fresh faces we've got some new plans uh, and the way I want to describe it, what we do for you guys, uh, exactly. Now in the past, you know, we strictly sold just guides and memberships, right? Uh, now what we're going to be doing this year is a little bit different. Uh, we're still going to have memberships and occasionally we'll have guides. But what we're doing is we're, we're, we're making things easier for you. We're selling, uh, putting together formations, right? Um, and what that means is you're going to get the best plays out of the best formations in the game. We're gonna, that means we're going to be able to put it out quickly. We're not looking at making... Uh, waiting on if we find like a full guide of stuff You're gonna know the best plays which playbooks they're in which plays are in those playbooks And it's gonna give us the ability to update all this content really 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 quickly uh, And I'm <laughs> I'm pretty excited to see it uh, So again if you guys want to go over there right now We have memberships available uh, for the year offensive only defensive only and a full membership um, and we also have a pre-order special going on where you're gonna get our first two formations for $14 and then uh, From there you'll we'll, we'll email you coupons and stuff that you can use throughout the year. It's a pretty good deal It's a much better deal uh, You will get better you will 100% get better at Madden Spending a little money on learning how to play the game correctly versus necessarily buying a seven pro pack bundle That's just that's just a fact uh, is 100% you know we put in the time we put in the effort we teach you how to do it and then we always try to make ourselves as easily accessible as possible for you so with all that being said and we're gonna have tips on the channel too so that's why you guys should stay here uh, let's get into uh, let's get into I'm gonna show you guys the site and show you guys a few things in here uh, and you can sort of see what is going on how things work and then I'll probably put like I'll put a clip on there. Um, all the guides right now are currently available uh, in the archive section for free. I'm going to show you guys that right now. So let's get over there and let's see. All right, so here we are. This is this is an example of a page that we have for for a guide from last year. It was a Baltimore defense, which was uh, heavily based around three three five. Uh, and if you guys are on Madden.com, you can go here. Strategy guides, Madden 18 ebook archive. Or if you still play Madden 17, we've got those archived as well. It's all for free at this point for you guys. And I just want to show you guys how the setup looks and how everything works. Um, so we break, uh, at least last year, so when we broke stuff down, we usually did a bit of an overview, recommended some audibles, stuff like that. And then we went into very specific things, like for 335, but we didn't really use it as a blitzing formation, but we used it to defend certain formations and teach people how to actually use it uh, not just as a hey here go run this it's hey run this versus the popular thing so we had tight slots uh, trip sets deuce close bunch etc etc so you'd click on the tabs you'd see videos uh, it's pretty cool and then again you know occasionally we did add film rooms running uh, the offensive formation the defensive formation or just the playbooks in general right um, same thing here, and this is more like what you're going to see this year, is, hey, you say you buy the 3-4 Predator, you're going to get this section right here, where we're going to give you stuff how to blitz, stuff how to uh, protect against the run, all that sort of stuff. Anything we come up with this year means it's going to be going on the site, which I think is, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and there's a couple videos here, which are really good, you know, if you guys want to learn how to blitz. Um, you know, there's blitzing videos, right? Base heat, left edge, right edge, there's a film room, uh, there's a crossfire we threw in here as well. And then there's some base defenses of how to passively blitz, uh, defend against shotguns, defend against whams, etc. Um, this is 
not as in depth as I as I, I hope that we go this year, right? Um, what we want to do, like I said, is with the new ability of how we're just going to be giving you guys formations, that means that anytime we find something, we're going to record it, we're going to upload it, and we're going to let everyone know that it's been updated so that everything comes. So if you get a formation, you get it for the year. You get all the updates for the year. If they patch something, we're going to write patch notes, and we're going to come back, and we're going to fix it. Uh, but right now, what I wanted to do for you guys, you guys can go on the site, you guys can watch any of these videos. Uh, but just to go over some of the stuff in this advanced Wham defense right here, uh, which Wham was a huge problem for a lot of people. And I know I put up a not advanced version uh, on my YouTube channel. And this one is the advanced version. So you guys are going to click in uh, now and see this. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Again, please. Uh, you know, if you enjoy this, like the video, subscribe, notifications, all that good stuff truly, truly helps me out, and uh, that's pretty awesome. So let's get into this video, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Cece, and I'm out. Peace. What up, Turf Team? Cece here today. I want to bring you guys a little more advanced deuce close defense, sort of playing off of what I had done uh, for a YouTube video. Um, similar idea, similar concept, but a little more in-depth. A little bit easier to set up as well uh, so what we're gonna be running is our 3-4 predator again I usually like to run cover 4 uh, and we're gonna flip it and we are gonna come out in deuce close deuce close deuce close halfback wham all right uh, so the basic premise of it is the same setup baseline press right and then as always we want to shade shade down shade out right this is the best look we can have and you can always spy this defensive end here so we only need three people now once your line is set you don't need to spread them you don't need to do anything else all you need to do is crash them down and you want to make sure that this linebacker is right over the D tackle here five yards back if you do this you're you're, you're in a good spot now what you can do is you can use this linebacker when the ball is hiked and you can shoot down and pop the running back every time just like that right very simple very easy However, if you can't exactly get to that linebacker in time or something goes wrong, maybe you're moving safeties down, you just need to make sure he's in position because if, you could, if you're bringing a safety down, right, and I usually like to, I prefer to use your safety against this, this linebacker will actually shoot the gap manually for you as well as your user coming down. So what I would normally do um, with this is I would have it set up have him in position and I'm bringing the safeties down it doesn't matter which one and I know that if it's a run if I don't manually control the safety at first he's going to actually take a step down towards the run if not he's gonna you know sort of stay where he is the reason I like using safeties against deuce close is that it provides me maximum flexibility the only routes that are really beat me down the seams are the tight end routes essentially right so if I can watch and I can see which of the tight ends is possibly on a streak, and if he's on my side, I know, hey, that's the guy i got to cover. If it's not my guy, then I know I've got pretty much free realm to roam around and defend the play uh, as best as possible. Now, this is a little more advanced. It's a little trickier with this, uh, but it works really well. It works really well. So we see if you don't use the linebacker, he still shoots in, and I'm not touching my controller, our user runs up and uh you know he does the work for us there which is beautiful again you don't have to spy this guy but you can why why wouldn't you right there's no no reason not to so again control of safety sort of be ready when the ball gets hiked this way you don't have to worry about doing anything and the computer is manually blowing it up however slightly slightly different if they run it flipped Right, so we're going to set up our defense the exact same way, um, and we'll see how it works with uh, the way I'm flipped. Right, so at this time we don't know, we don't know what is going to happen. Right, but we're still going to set everything up the exact same way, and we can't tell if the wham's going to be coming from the left or the right at this point. You have no idea. Uh, so you're going to be on, you know, a safety here probably, and you see that the linebacker does not shoot down for it right so that's the trade-off is that if you are not using him and someone runs it from the other side you can't blow it up 
right? You can't blow it up. So if you bring your safeties down, someone runs to that side, you can't blow it up. However, you can still blow it up yourself because uh, you can still attack and get in there, right? The version we had on YouTube involved spreading the defensive line. Uh, and I think this is a bit of a, it's a better version to actually blow up Deuce Close. But to keep in mind, the only difference here is you need to spread your line after they set and then crash them down. This helps you blow up the run better, but that extra step or extra second can really hurt you when you're playing someone who's really, really good at deuce close. Um, but you see there, the linebacker will manually blow it up, and he'll manually blow it up on either side. Uh, so slightly more advanced there, uh, slightly more time-consuming, which is why I would sort of rather prefer doing the non uh, spread line version of it, honestly, uh, because a lot of the times you're going to play someone who is going to be able to quick hike you very, very fast. So that's really what our concern is. Um, but again, if you want to use this yourself, you can just don't spread your line and you need to know that you're just going to be standing right here and wait. And if you see the, the tight end cracking down, you can still pop him in. But he's not going to pop him by himself if you don't use him if the halfback wham is coming on the other side. Just friendly advice. Very helpful. Uh, I've run this deuce close defense against so many people. And people stop running wham very, very quickly on us. Very, very quickly on us. <laughs> if you do it wrong, you could get sixed, right? And that's obviously a concern. But, uh... Sometimes you just got to be risky, um, so it just depends on what your opponent's doing. If you're playing someone who likes to run it from the left a lot, maybe you don't use it as a safety. But if you're not, um, then you know it's okay. Otherwise, just you know use your linebacker, blow it up, and you're good to go. Hopefully, this guy's uh, you know this helps you out a bit with Deuce Close. I know this is still a formation that does give people trouble uh, when you play someone who's really good at passing. It's difficult. Uh, the best way to start defending a lot of the passes is indeed to bring the safeties down because as they're down, when they back up, they're not backing up too far. So some of these rats are getting underneath them. Uh, this does help them sort of stay in line with uh, the tight end routes and the deeper routes that are really happening. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will be glad to answer them for you. I'm out. Peace.